Hey there guys, it's your boy Pride TV right here and I'm going to show you how the hey, the guide the guides and steps and other ways to find the perk for the SNDs. So SND is the better way to, it's a time based uh objectives. So medyo maganda sa mga players na ito. So all of the code, code M members sa uh, mga na yon. So here are the steps so sa mga beginners po na yun, so here are the steps sa mga rank games na medyo mabilis sa pagdating ng perk. So which is the first one is the the cowboy perk. So the cowboy perk uh, medyo mabilis mabilis sa pagdating nito. Medyo mabilis sa paglaro. So gamitin ko yung agile for the for pabilisan kasi ng barilan nito. At saka next is quick fix or toughness. Yan yung sa mga sa kanina. So next is the high alert para malaman kung nasan yung pesto ng kalaban para dating sa ADS speed. Sa ADS only ah. Para makikita mo yung ano yung mark enemy agad pagdating sa equipment. <coughs> so na yun ang gagamitin natin. So gagamitin ng players is yung QQ9, the assault is the manwar and then the DRH. This is only for the season 2. So, better gamitin nyo na lang nito yung perk na to sa itong red, green, and blue. Then yung lethals and tacticals, kayo na bahala dyan. So, next is the, the SWAT perk. SWAT perk is the better way to have your mobility better. And even you are working or like a SWAT. It is a conventional way to better have your SND to movements so pwede gamitin is yung QQ9 with a stack of the light stack kung, ay, kung gusto ninyo or even MRP strike para may medyo better na no so recommended ko talaga is yung light stack para mas mabilis yung ADS movement speed kapag, gumag kapag gumagalaw ka na mabilis yun yung medyo maganda sa, ano, sa movements so next light stack is the better on uh, before the next one, so let's stack is the better choice to use this SWAT perk. <clears throat> Same progress rear is the quick fix, pero may dagdag tayo is the tracker. Yan yung SWAT perk. So next is the counter strike perk. Counter strike perk, you know the rules and you know the sequence. So only toughness is the only choice to use, but the tracker never do do it. <laughs> pero pwede gamitin mo parang cheater ka. So joke lang yun. So kung kung cheater kung cheater ka talaga sa radars, so tracker gamitin mo okay lang. Toughness is the better choice for the counter strike. And then <clears throat> high alert. Or any shrap or not shrap na demo expert better use, good talaga ito. And then high alert. Even also sa dead silence pala. Kalimutan ko pala ito. So yan yung mga blue na ito. So, yan yung better way. So, Sterox the best. And also, AK-47 kung gusto niyo And Manowar, okay lang. They are the same. But not much the same. So, yan. And then, also use pa sa mga rushers. Ito gamitin niyo So, SMGs and shotguns ang gagamitin niyo Then, SWAT perk, okay lang. Either BY-15 and the KRM with the same attachment appeared in my screen so I use the platinum gold so ito yung attachment ang gagamitin ninyo speed of kill for better speed after killing after killing an enemy same with no stock extended black brother you know that and marauder for damage range if you wanted to close quarters combat so KRM and only BY-15 is the best for the SWAT perk and then lastly the snipers you know the rule so use this perk I use this attachment I sorry for the perk I see the perk so use the stopping power reload also in DLQ 33 here is my attachment you know this right so you know it and then extended mag A if you want or extended large extended mag B if you want so that is it. 
and also para in additional so use use smrs or fhj if you wanted to if you want to kill and explode this one either knife and melee those are counter strikes either of those melees and pistols you name it but also 50 gs is your better is your better friend if you wanted to kill someone with backups remember Switching to pistol is best is faster than reloading. You know the rule. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here are some steps to rate your find your targets and sensitivities. So that's the first step is set your sensitivity and your layouts. You know the rule. Then number two, go to the target range to find your aim possible. If not, reset your sensitivity to what kind of sensitivity do you comfort. And then number three, go to 180. Also the same rule. Same rule. 180 is the better choice to have your look back or scroll or swipe it left or right if you wanted to take your 180 shot. The same rule then is in, in, is in number two. So reset your sensitivity to make your better choice to your aims and head to 180. Then number four, stay alert with all those maps. Just memorize your, all your maps around the rank match for better way to do and number five I number five communicate to to the other teammates toxic is the worst team we ever see so toxic is the hardest thing to do so here are my ways to become a non-toxic player a better player number one communicate that's the number that's the rule number two respect the other players to do so number three discipline so discipline is the better choice to have rather than the toxic okay, num okay number four read all the radars so if you know the name of the radar and then also the kill kill logo if there is any so there is a enemy around so you know the role you have your minds and ears also the ha also the hands if you wanted to take your movements and eyes to look around your screen so that's it for the video so we're going to next round on the domination and hard points steps and uses the perks and also the attachments that i can use and hope you see you in next video so peace Bitch,